Welcome to the Fall River Conservation Commission meeting being held at uh, Monday, November 7, 2022 at 5.30 in the first floor meeting room, hearing room on Government Center Fall River. Uh, pursuant to the open meeting laws, any person may make an audio or video recording of this public meeting or may transmit the meeting through any medium. Attendees are therefore advised that such recordings or transmissions are being made whether perceived or unperceived by those present and are deemed acknowledged and permissible. Uh, before we start our meeting, I'd take a, like to take a moment of silence for Aline, who passed away last month, who was uh, uh, instrumental in uh, the bioreserve. So if we just take a minute just to remember Mr. Alima. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, roll call. Chris Boyle here. James Hoinsby here. John Brandt. Louis Ferrer. Jim Cusick. Paula J. Emerald. And we also have Dan Aguiar from the City Planning. Patty Aguiar, uh, Assistant uh, Clerk. Uh, Gary Leitz from Fall River TV. Uh, first on the agenda, old business, request for certificate of compliance, SE-24-768, owner applicant is Highland Farms Development 2, LLC, project locations 48 Brookfield Terrace, assessor's map is U-04-0062, filed by Highland Farms 2, LLC, applicant requesting certificate of compliance, at the time of the inspection, all work regulated by order conditions have been satisfactory completed. Uh, this was continued from October 3rd, 2022 meeting. Any questions from the board? No, just I was out there today and they begun, they were almost done laying sod down. So they're just about, they're completing the work. So they are moving forward. To stabilize, and they've done, you know, final grading's done, and they, they started rolling out sod today, and they were finishing up. So. Okay. Um, so, how about we have a motion to uh, table this matter till the next meeting, which is December fifth. December fifth. Can I have a motion? So motion. Moved. Second. Uh, roll call vote. Aye. Jim. Aye. 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 Sorry. Aye. 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 Yes. Okay. Next on the agenda is a request for certificate of compliance, SE-24-769. Owner applicant is Highland Farms Development 2, LLC. Project location is 30 Brookfield Terrace. Assessor's map is U-04-0063. Uh, filed by Highland Farms 2, LLC. Applicant requesting a certificate of compliance. At the time of inspection, all work regulated by order conditions have been satisfactorily completed. This was uh, continued from October 3rd meeting. Mr. Chair, I can give you an update of, of where we're at from our site inspections. Okay, As previously sure. stated, the signage, signage was placed. The site had not been stabilized. This was one that you remember was a, a swimming pool went in that had not received permitting from you. Right. Last meeting, you uh, requested that we send them a letter alerting the, the owner to that fact and that they needed to put together a new application for the pool. That letter did go out. I did speak to her. She acknowledged the fact that she was putting together a new notice of intent uh, for the pool. And I explained to her, make sure anything that you want to do in the rest in that yard is shown on this plan. And this was just towards the end of last week. So I, I do know that she has hired um, the engineering firm to put that together. So I would assume that they would be getting that into us. I did speak to, to Chris after a site walk today. She has been moving ahead with having other work done in the buffer zone, some walkways and uh, patio areas. So um, I guess we can deal with that when, when she does file. Mm -hmm. However, you know, I, I definitely would not sign off on the certificate of compliance and you can decide how long you want to wait for her to file. Should we mo have a motion to... Uh Desist work? Uh, what was that? Uh, stop work? Or we... um, I mean, I, you, if you want, you can make a motion or a vote that we send her another letter to stop work until that filing comes in, if you would like to do that. Okay. Yeah. Can I have a motion that we send uh, 30 Brookfield Terrace another uh, letter to stop work till she uh, files a new NOI? Motion. Second. 
Roll call. Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, three requests for a certificate of compliance, SE-24-739. Owner applicant is CML2 LLC. Uh, project location is 507 Alden Street. Assessor's map is J-21-001-005. Applicant requesting a certificate of compliance stating that all work regulated by order conditions has been satisfactorily completed. This is continued from October 3rd meeting. Uh, previous to what we discussed at the last meeting, uh, there were a number of items that had been missing. I had alerted the owners to that fact. At the last meeting, you did not um, require that a, a formal letter go out to them. So my recommendation at this time would be to table it and send them out a formal letter with the deficiencies on the site. Yeah. Okay. So can I have a motion to send 507 Alden Street a letter and a table till December 5th? Motion so made. Seconded. Aye. Uh, aye. 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 Yes. Okay. All righty. Next, request a certificate of compliance, SE-24-764, owner applicant Highland Farms 2 LLC, project location 221 Fieldstone Lane, assessor's map is U-04-0058, applicant requesting certificate of compliance stating that all work regulated by order conditions has been satisfactorily completed. This was continued too from uh, October 3rd. Again, uh, Mr. Chairman, the a letter went out to this landowner regarding the work that had taken place in the backyard. And I just noticed that Gary Michael is here from Bristol Pacific, so you may want to ask if anybody has anything to add or uh, anything regarding any of these matters. So um, no one reached out to me from either department, either the original landowner, Highland Farms, or the current landowner. So I would, I would say that the next matter would be that you can either table the matter and sit and wait, send another letter, or send out an enforcement order. Okay. Would you like to comment on that? What block was it in? Um, 221, the one with the outdoor fireplace oh, yeah. and... Well, it's an outdoor kitchen at this point. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what came about. Now, that lot is sold completely? Yes. Okay. Yep. So I, I can attest that the, the work that's been done has been done by the new owner. Bristol Pacific doesn't build the, these elaborate backyard patios and <laughs> kitchens. fire pits, oh, kitchens, and everything else. And there's so. a hot tub out there now. So. Oh, okay. Oh, so I think that we need to probably, they're going to have to pump the brakes on this a little bit. Yeah. So what I would state is because the certificate of compliance was for specific work through Bristol Pacific, so I wouldn't say that Bristol Pacific is in non-compliance with their order. The new landowner mm -hmm. is a separate violation than from what was permitted. So I would not close out the certificate. I wouldn't grant it. Okay. But I would, I would probably a little more strongly deal with, with this new homeowner. So stop and desist? Um, well, that, I can't tell you okay. how to do it, but All right. um, there should yeah. be something more. I mean, we sent the letter. Yeah. Uh, so if he stops okay. and desists, the work's already done. So that doesn't do as yeah. much. Yeah. So. And it seems like from the last time I was out there that the work continues. So can I have a, maybe we just send another letter? Enforcement? Enforcement letter? Enforcement letter. Sure. Yeah. Uh, can I have a motion to send a uh, enforcement letter to... Uh, an enforcement letter or an enforcement order. order? Enforcement order. The 221 Fieldstone Lane. Motion. Seconded. Roll call vote. Aye. Jim? Aye. 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 Yes. Okay. Next is a request for certificate of compliance, SE-24-765. Owner applicant is Highland Farms Development 2 LLC. Project location is 245 Fieldstone Lane. Assessor's maps U-04-0059. Applicant requesting certificate of compliance stating that all work regulated by order conditions has been satisfactorily completed. This was continued from October 3rd's meeting. So I can offer there's no pools, there's no patios, there's no uh, <laughs> hot tubs. The rough grading has been done. There's actually loan piles that, that are sitting waiting to be spread. Um, once that gets spread and seeded, then, then this site is 
it's probably the most simple one that, <laughs> that we've had to look at. So All right. I would just recommend tabling it until that loam and seeding gets done. Okay, so can I have a motion to table this to December 5th? I'll make a motion to table. Second. We'll Aye. 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 Yes. Okay. Next one is a request for certificate of compliance SE-24-772. Owner applicant is Highland Farms Development 2 LLC. Uh, project location is 35 Brookfield. Census map is U-04-0066. Applicant requesting a certificate of compliance stating that all work regulated by order conditions has been satisfactorily completed. This was continued from October 3rd's meeting. All the work has been completed. The loaming and seeding has been done and, and the lot looks very good. I'll make a so motion to approve COC. So I have a mo motion to issue a certificate of compliance. Second? Seconded. Roll call vote. Aye. 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 Yes. Okay. Next is a request for certificate of compliance. SE-24-771, owner applicant Highland Farms Development 2 LLC, project location 11 Brookfield Terrace. Uh, assessor's map is U-04-0065, applicant requesting a certificate of compliance stating that all work regulated by order of conditions have been satisfactorily completed. This is continued from October 3rd meeting. Uh, looks like all work is completed. That's correct. Okay, so can I have a motion to issue a certificate of compliance? Motion, motion to Aye. approve COC. Second. Roll call vote. Aye. 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 Yes. Okay. On to new business. Notice of intent is SE-24-808. Owner is Robert Murray. Applicant is Winslow Dresser uh, slash the trust. Uh, project location is Yellow Hill Road. Census map is W-44005, <coughs> filed by the trustees. The applicant proposes to re re renovate re an existing hiking trail to meet accessibility standards and install nature-based children's play elements. All work is within the buffer zone without any impact to resource areas. Oh, Hi. how you doing? Good. I'm Josh Hassan first I'm project manager for the trustees. Winslow uh, couldn't make it today, so I'm uh, stepping in. All right. <laughs> do you have your legal ad? I do. And what was your last name, Josh? Hassan first. Just the way it sounds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. E-N-F-U-S. Thank you. So do you want to go through the plan, or do you... Do yeah, you have your receipt cards for I, your mailings? I just the um, just what I got at the post office. You know the stamp, they're in there. I think they're in the envelope. Yeah, that's good fine. enough. Yeah, that's fine. It doesn't tell us who sent them back, but at least it tells us that they were sent. What's that? I got a witness. You got a witness? Yeah. Could you speak into the microphone? Yeah. I... Thank you. Um, so this property is part of the Cop Copacut Woods Reservation, which is part of the bio reserve. Um, so this parcel that we're working on is adjacent to Indian Hill, Indian Town Road. So. The existing parking lot that services Copa Cut Woods is to the left here, and that's existing. No, no further um, work is being proposed there, but this will be a staging area and stockpile area. Um, and then the, Sh the Shockley Trail is the trail we, we propose to improve to meet accessibility standards. So we did get a state grant to do this through the DCR Trail Grant Program. Um, so it's an existing trail, and... Basically, we're gonna we propose to resurface it and basically, um, you know, create a base of stone dust and a uh, dense grade and then stone dust. Most of this chocolate trail is within the buffer zone. Um, the wetlands were delineated and they're shown. And the survey did pick up the flags and we have the buffer zone included on the plans. 
Um, and then kind of the more interesting part of the project is we're planning to create some nature play areas. So these will be elements like, you know, um, a small tunnel, you know, different things that, you know, kids and young families can, can interact with on the trail. So those bump outs are, are shown on the plan. There's, I think there's four or five total. So as far as tree clearing, none of that? There's only one area that needs to be rerouted to, to meet handicapped accessibility standards, the grading. Mm -hmm. We have to be under 5%. So that's this area here, kind of in the center of the trail, but it actually brings the, the trail further away from the resource. So this is the existing trail mm -hmm. here, and then this is the, the proposed reroute. Okay. So that's the only, only area, and it's mostly brush. I mean, there's no, no tree clearing okay. planned. And then, you know, this trail goes all the way out to Yellow Hill Road. I mean, this plan makes it look big, but it's not a very long section. It's about 10 minutes. Yeah, about 10 minutes. Yeah, it's a good estimate. Um, so there's Yellow Hill Road. And then, you know, we're hoping that this will create some interest to, for the bioreserve and Copa Cut and get some younger families out there. The, Kind of interesting, the trail ends on this side, which is kind of the, the access point to the greater bioreserve. So mm -hmm. we think it's kind of nice and, you know, certain certain age groups might continue on to explore the bioreserve, which is what we're ultimately trying to do is get more people outside. So, okay. And we proposed erosion control the whole way. All right. So what control? Erosion, erosion control. control. Uh, erosion control. Erosion, yeah. thank yeah. you. So fill tracks, nine inch fill <coughs> tracks. Good. Does the board have any questions? Yeah, Jim, go ahead. Uh, as you gather, I've walked the trail once or twice or 25 times or so. I have no idea. Um, it's accessible now, yes? Not, not to the grading, yes, besides that one area, but the Mass Architectural Board and the, um, the, the, um, you know, federal guidelines for accessibility, it needs to be surfaced. We can't have the rocks that are accessible in the sense of wheelchair accessibility, you know, handicapped accessibility. Oh, that kind of yeah. accessibility. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, it's the term we use all the time, you know, nowadays. Right. Is, yeah, so this would be wheelchair accessible. Oh. I know what you mean now. Yeah, but we'll, you know, we think of accessibility just for wheelchairs, but it's also people who have different kind of you know, mobility issues, mo mobility issues. Yeah. and that's, and even strollers, you know, mm. so it's kind of, we do a lot of the trustees with accessible trails, and we find that it's not just wheelchairs and stuff, it's a whole group of, of people, so. Okay. And it does improve people coming. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that's what we. I mean, we, you've discovered that in the past, have you? Yeah, oh, definitely, yeah. It's, but you're not going to. Okay, I mean, if you can do it in Yosemite, you can do it here. Uh, I, you know, I'm not, it didn't occur to me that that's what was happening when I read the write-up. I, I should have, but I didn't. Sorry I wasn't clear, yeah. Well, I wasn't clear. I'm, I know I didn't uh, get it, but uh, do the best you can to keep it natural is what, yeah. that's my plea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I should know, too, we're not going to, dig at all. We're not going to take any topsoil out. We have some re state restrictions due to some archaeology resources. So we're going to, you know, kind of move the the duff material, you know, the pine needles and leaves off to the side, put down, you know, fabric to kind of stabilize and then bring the bring the trail surface up, you know, and then bring the duff. It. No, we're not no. going to. No. Okay. Very light impact. All right. Okay. Thank you. Sure. No other questions. Can I have a, a motion for issue an order of conditions with accessible uh, standards of conditions? So moved. Second. Pass for a minute. I'll vote last. I'd like to vote last. Okay. Chris? Aye. 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 Jim, second. Aye. Yes. I abstain because I'm proud to be a member of the trustees. Glad to hear it. Thanks for your support. Oh, I'm a member too, so does that mean I have to abstain? No, you already voted. Too late. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it much matters on this one, but... Uh, I think... Uh,
think my membership is what if we're voting ten million dollars uh, <laughs> <laughs> all righty uh, next is uh, that's it. You're thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad we're brothers. <laughs> next is a request for certificate of compliance SE-24-252. Owner applicant is Deborah, Deborah A. Moses. Uh, project location is 422 Mariano Bishop Boulevard. Census map is C-12-0001. Uh, Applicant requesting a certificate of compliance stating that all work regulated by order conditions have been satisfactorily completed. Is anybody here on that? Mr. Chair, if you can, um, items number two and three can be taken together. They are identical. They were two different orders of conditions. You'll see a different file mm -hmm. number, 252 and 253, but the resulting, the resulting vote would be the same for both, and I'll, I can explain that. So if you just want to read um, that you're taking number three at the same time, Okay. Um, then, then we can move forward. Uh, we're going to take uh, number three with item two, so I'll read three. Uh, the request for certificate of compliance, SE-24-253, owner applicant Deborah A. Mo Moses, uh, project location 422 Mariano Bishop Boulevard, assessment map is C-12001. Applicant requesting certificate of compliance stating that all work regulated by order conditions has been satisfactorily completed. You can make that motion if you want. Yeah, John, I'd like to make a motion. I think we need to make a motion and a vote. Yeah. We take both items. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Can I have a motion to second. take both items? So moved. Okay, roll call vote. Well, someone has to second. 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 I did. Okay. Right. okay. Um, aye. 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 Yes. Okay. So what we have here is um, it was a larger subdivision called Laurel Meadows residential subdivision that went well. <coughs> well beyond off of Mariano Bishop Boulevard. There was a commercial lot up at the very top of Mariano Bishop Boulevard. It used to be a real estate office. It had been a few different things. Most recently, I think it was a dental office. So this parcel itself had no construction activity on it that had to do with the order or the remaining subdivision. It was nowhere near any of the wetlands. But by title, because the, the whole order for the subdivision had never been satisfied, this lot is still covered by it. So what I would recommend is that you issue a partial certificate, and that would just release this parcel title-wise from the remainder of the of the outstanding order of conditions. Okay. So can I have a, a motion for uh, both uh, SE-24-252 and SE-24253 to have a motion for a partial certificate of compliance? And to keep the outstanding order conditions to remain in place. Motion so made. Seconded. Roll call vote. Aye. 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 Yes. Okay. Next, we have a request for certificate of compliance, SE 24 766. Owner applicant, Highland Farms Development 2 LLC. Project location 273 Fieldstone Lane. Assessor's map is U-04-0060. Applicant requested certificate of compliance stating that all work regulated by order conditions has been satisfactorily completed. So when we did a site visit, everything is done, completed, loam and seed, done very well, very neat. Um, there was one area where the, the excavating contractor uh, encroached on the wetlands a little bit, a little triangle around flag B1. I met him on the site Thursday or Friday, and he told me that, that day that he was fixing it. As of this morning, it was not fixed. So what I would do is I would recommend that you table the matter. We can send a letter out asking that that area be restored. Um, so fence pulled out, loam and seeding pulled out, maybe one or two plants put in prior to the issuance of the COC. Okay. So can I have a motion to send a letter uh, to state that it has to go back to... Uh, the wetland alterations needs to be restored prior to the issuance of a COC. Before you vote, you want to add anything to that? No. Uh, no, I noticed it wasn't done as well. Okay. Okay. So motion to table and send letter. So moved. Bob seconded. Sorry. Okay. Roll call vote. Aye. 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 Yes. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Request for Certificate of Compliance, SE-24767. 
Owner African Highland Farms 2 LLC, project location 294 Fillstone Lane. Uh, assessor's map is U 04 0061. Applicant requesting a certificate of compliance stating that all work regulated by order conditions has been satisfactorily completed. So, this is as you first pull into the phase two of the subdivision <coughs> on your right hand side, single family house, house was built. When you look in the rear yard, you'll see where the wetland signage is and the erosion control barrier. There is an area of approximately 5,000 square feet of bordering vegetated wetland that was completely removed. It's just bare dirt now. Mm. Um, it's my understanding that the, the future buyer for the house went in and did this work. The problem being is that they don't own the house yet. So the only party that we can actually send an enforcement action to would be the applicant who is Highland Farms Highland Farms could then go approach the landowner. Mm -hmm. Someone needs to file something of a restoration plan to restore this wetland back to what it was, which would require, you know, plantings as required through the Wetlands Protection Act. So the board can uh, table the matter and send a letter out either requesting that a new notice of intent be submitted or you could file an enforcement action. Um, you know, I, I think Gary would was going to push on these land or potential buyers. They cannot close on this house until this gets resolved. So I think that gives both parties an initiative to uh, to get this matter resolved. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. All right. So I mean, a, a letter. Since Gary is here, maybe just like a letter at this point, alerting them to the fact, and that it's on yeah. paper. You can you, you're going to push it. That gets done. Yeah, what was the purpose for clearing the clearing that land in the first place? Because I was out there today. And I think one of the guys that works for the site company is a brother of the owner, and he just felt he was doing his brother a favor, not realizing. So is it for lawn, additional lawn areas? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. that was for. And okay. grading to try and get a flatter backyard. Okay. Mm -hmm. he but is this. The patio in there. Is well. Anything that anything that he does in the buffer zone beyond what was permitted on your plan, right. he requ that requires a filing. Okay. That's so why yes. he hasn't finished the lands. We have the so inside. so what he may want to do is include. So he's going to have to submit a restoration plan. Okay. He may want to include what he intends to do in the remaining land that he has. He can only go to where those signs are. So he can't. I don't want him to think he's putting the patio in the back area. So oh, we got the silk fence up. Yeah. Thank you. All righty. So can I have a motion to table and send the owner a letter uh, requesting a new NOI and restoration plan for the wetlands and any further work uh, done in the area? Motion. Send. Second. Yeah. Roll call vote. I just, um, so we're not going to issue an enforcement order, correct? Well, you can, in the letter, you can give him let's say 30 days to file. Okay. And then if he doesn't, then the enforcement, you, you can you can modify then, that, that motion. Then that'll trick the enforcement. Yes, exactly. Okay. So if you want to give him 30 days to file a new notice of intent, if that's not filed, then we'll issue an enforcement order. You can modify the motion to, to do such. And Sorry. the notice of intent would include restoration of the 5,000. Absolutely, okay. yeah. 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 So we'll amend that motion by so ordering 30-day notice. So uh, the second. Yeah. Okay. Roll call vote. Aye. Would you? We're, we're, we're doing what Chris said, yes? We're sending a letter. We're requesting a new NOI, a restoration plan, any further work done, and he has 30 days. To Second. Okay. You're voting. Aye. 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 Rather, aye. 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 I mean, aye. that's what yes. I meant to say. Okay. I just All right. no I'm tired. Problem. The election's tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Next is a certificate of compliance SE-24770, uh, Highland Farms Development 2 LLC, uh, project location 14 Brookfield Terrace, assessor's map is U-04-0064, applicant requesting a certificate of compliance stating that all work regulated by the order conditions has been satisfactorily completed. So at the time of inspection, the site work was not completed. The final grading and loam and seeding still needed to be completed. Uh, do you have a schedule of when that one's going to get done? Um, hopefully beginning of next week. Okay. After this rain. <laughs> so I, I would recommend that you table okay. the matter until the work gets done. All right. Can I have a motion to table? Motion to table. 
Motion to table. Seconded. Roll call vote. Aye. 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 Right. Yes. Next is a request for certificate of compliance SE-24-140. Owner applicant is Thomas J. Costa. Project location 169 Wilson Road, APO 3191 North Main Street. Assessor's map is T-25-004. Uh, applicant requesting a certificate of compliance stating that all work regulated by order conditions has been satisfactorily completed. So it's a little bit complicated, and it took Patty some research to get to the bottom of this one. She did a good job of digging through these older files. So there was um, an order of conditions issued to uh, the home that was constructed at 3191 North Main, and that's the file number that you see. A few years after the people had built and moved in, this was a very large lot that went extended well off of North Main. They actually cut off a piece of the wooded area to the rear of their lot and combined it with a lot that comes off of Wilson Road. So added some backyard to this existing house on Wilson Road. So what happens is now when they do a title search, and, and most of this stuff, that this is usually driven when someone's refinancing or selling and you have a very competent attorney that goes through and looks through the history of the land involved, and this is what happened here. That piece of land although it had nothing to do with the construction, and they, they cut it off of the piece that was constructed and conveyed it to the lot next door. That square, although it's just a wooded square, is still governed by this file number. Mm -hmm. So they're not asking for a certificate of compliance for the home and the work that was done. It just takes that square out of what the order covers. Okay. That's all. So again, it would be a partial certificate with regards to, the, to that parcel only and that the original order of conditions remains in place okay. with an outstanding uh, certificate of compliance. Board, have any questions on that? No. So can I have a motion for a partial certificate of compliance and to keep the outstanding <coughs> order of conditions to remain in place? Motion, issue a partial certificate of compliance. Seconded. Aye. 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 <coughs> yes. Aye. Aye. Great. Okay, vote passes. Uh, next, uh, receipt of correspondence review and discussion of waterway license applicants for Maria reconfiguration of zones located at 600 uh, Duval Street. Uh, so, can I have a... Well, so what we did was, you may remember, maybe two meetings ago, mm -hmm. um, you approved through the issuance of an order of conditions the, uh, the floats that were going to go around the city pier. The process is once they go to a Chapter 91 licensing, they then go to the next level for licensing, and they one of those things is they have to send notice to all of the municipal agencies and boards. So this is your formal notice that this is before the Chapter 91. There's nothing being constructed different than what you had previously approved. So the planning board got one. Everybody gets one. But you just happen to be the agency that issued the original permit that allows them to go to Chapter 91. So the recommendation would be just to replace it on file, unless anybody in the audience has a comment about it. No, that's not mine. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to have a motion to place it on file? Motion to place it on file. Seconded. Okay. Aye. 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 Yes. Uh, discussion on Bell Rock Road wetlands violations? You here for that one? Oh, actually, I'm just watching you guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, um, right. I'm assuming that we had a call or a complaint about what's what's going on at Bell Rock Road. No, I went out to the site. Oh, you did? Okay. I followed up because we've had yeah, issues. They, they, yeah, they failed to come to meetings in the past, so, yeah. um, and I wasn't sure so, how compliant they were going to be. So. Okay. Yeah. Initially, when I first went out there with Caitlin in March or February, March. whenever that was, March. Um, well, I think the letter went out in March, so it was okay. probably oh, December. Yeah, yeah. 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 so first the conditions are exactly the same as when we were out there. So the, the, yeah. the drainage system is plugged up, and there's obvious um, sedimentation in the two. The two very small wetland areas, mm -hmm. but um, some of the um, erosion control was failing and is obviously that they're being sedimented from the construction they they're taking soil off site they're bringing soil in to take you they're, they're excavating stone things like that and it 20 god i don't know how many trucks it was seven trucks just when yeah, i was out yeah, there long. This, this is back and forth this has happened a few times when caitlin young was here we issued yep. a uh 
Uh, well, I, w I went back through the file, so I wasn't involved in this back when you guys were dealing with it in March. Um, and but I, what I did find was Dan Giosa was who appeared before you, so he's no longer with that firm. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I went through the file. Actually, there. I don't know if Patty. Did you give them? No. All right. What I did was, I downloaded. Let me pass this down. Take one and pass it down. I downloaded oh, right, some aerial photos of what of what occurred in March, and then what was on as of September. You see the dates on the top of the plans. Oh. So I will offer that they yeah. have done some loaming and seeding and stabilizing to the north of the site. They have. Yeah. But. When I went out there, before I even printed this, when I drove out there this morning, um, it needs some attention in, in a number of ways. I don't know the last time you were there, Chris, but there are now, there are a number of piles of dirt that look okay, but there's a new section, a new maybe a dozen trailer loads um, that's a little iffy as far as woody debris, um, maybe stumpish, so it's not, you know, this is not a stump dump. So you do need to take some type of action in notifying these people because when you look at the letter and the enforcement action, there were certain criteria and different timelines for different restoration items. They have not met those. Um, one, the other thing I found is there was an enforcement order issued. I do not see that it was ever recorded at the Registry of Deeds. Um, so you may want to take new formal action and, and follow up. I mean, it's horrible that we're now at this late part of the fall because you're really not going to get much restoration out there. I mean, for me, mm. this should have been a, a you know like a, a trap rock construction entrance for the first 100 feet of the driveway leading the site. It's not. It's just bare gravel. Um, a number of the sections that were supposed to be restored at certain timelines, specifically the little drainage swale that they were supposed to build, was not done. So I can't say that they, it appears they've done some loaming and seeding and some vegetation has grown in on some of it. My biggest concern is that they've excavated to the groundwater mm -hmm. yeah. and some, potentially some of the material that they're bringing in is right at, the, right at where the groundwater is. Yeah. So I don't know, you know, when they're importing material, I, I don't see anywhere where they were permitted to import material. No. So what ends up happening with, with these gravel operations is rock is worth more money than dirt. So they excavate rock, they crush it, different sizes, and, and that's how money is made. Um, no. Again, this was all filed under the guise of constructing three single-family homes. Correct. I don't think that's going to happen. No, they, they were actually appeared before us. It was around that March. To uh, right? March or April, they appeared okay. before us and said that <clears throat> they had scrapped that. I think their attorney was here, actually. And, yeah, and they, they, scrapped the yeah. Yeah. they scrapped the plan to put in the three homes. And then they, kind of as an aside, they said that when they were done with the property, they were considering donating it to Audubon or okay. something like that. Well, that's really the only value that it has is donating it to the remainder of the What's left bio reserve it? around it on mass wildlife. Right, right, exactly. So, but there is a lot of restoration work that needs to get done. Mm -hmm. um, to be honest with you, a lot of it really can't get done um, vegetation wise until the next growing season. Mm -hmm. However, they should not be importing potentially suspect material. And sorry for not being so. Yeah, you can see where March 23rd, the wetlands versus March 10th, they fill And I did lot. take a number of photos. so. This is, you can, if you want to pass that yeah, down. Yeah, that's, that's... Has that been there a while? That's new. Okay. I was out there... J it, just by its moisture content, yeah. it seems like it's... That's all. Now, it's kind of shreds. I wouldn't necessarily call it stumps. However, I don't think it's suitable material to be... To, now, I don't know, but you don't even know if they dropped it off there. This is no man's land where people yeah, see an opportunity to... Well, I but, can tell you, it's, you, you know, they, the, the gates are in good shape. The cable gates are in good shape. Well, there was no gate. I drove in today with no gates. There was no cable gates no, up there? Nothing. Because they do have cables. Yeah, no, have... nothing. Okay. No, I drove mm -hmm. straight in. There's no erosion control around the street, which is one thing you had all asked for. Um, so... Mm, it's they problem. No, there's no... It's still coming out of the street. Oh, yeah. Uh, Last time so I, I took a number of photos. It, it definitely looks different than it did in March, yeah. but I don't think anywhere near to the point of, of what you asked. So even this corner, mm -hmm. 
like that's now being filled in and, and sloped down, so there is no water here anymore. All of the water is down, you know, in this middle area. Yeah, so. Yeah, no, the well, well even from today, like this is not water. This is all filled in with dirt. So okay. the same thing they did here, like they start at the top of the slope yeah. and come down. Mm -hmm. You can tell they're starting to do this here. Um, my main concern was this material that they right. had around the water part of it. Yeah. Dan, is it within our ability to request where, if they have documentation of where they're imported fill? Absolutely. Maybe. Yeah, absolutely. Or you can tell them to remove it. Well, that's not the kind of fill we uh, have. Yeah, you would anyway. want anyway. It's now, clean, that would be clean. suitable cover at the end of your restoration when you're in a wooded area to yeah. disperse woody debris yeah. and mimic what the forest floor appears like. Um, but to bury that, Potentially, I mean, un unless they think that they're at the grade that they're going to stay, that site can't be left as low as it is with, with groundwater being exposed. So, so is our course of action here just sending a letter, or is there something more we could do? Because it seems like I mean, well, we've sent letters in the past. That's what I'm saying. Is all, it and they they haven't appeared before right. us. Um, are we, are we going to continue to do that, or can we take a little bit more action here? Order? I mean, you can file an, an enforcement order that requires them to file a complete restoration plan to your satisfaction within a certain number of days. Um, and then we could potentially look into the ability of, you know, in contact DEP and see if we can get some type of fines or anything else working. Um, but you're, you're, it's obvious that you're being ignored. Okay. And we have in the past. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they 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 fix it and then they go back to the way they were. Yeah. It's, uh, okay. So, any further questions? Or yeah, Mr. Comments? Chairman, is there somebody? I'm wondering out loud here, because um, this was subject to negotiation. This is just a horrible mess. Um, this was subject. Uh, Dan's story is is absolutely correct. And before that, there was a woman whose name escapes me that owned it, and that Patricia was with Aruda. the what? Patricia Aruda was the yeah, original. That's where the original plan, uh, which I thought at the time was a scam. Jesus. And, um, yes, yeah. Patty Bright. Yeah. Uh, Bright. Uh, and she no longer is involved in it. She she sold it, I believe. I don't know. Yes, I, I think I think she, it has. Yes, yeah. she I believed. That's what the attorney yeah. said. Yeah. Um, I just don't want to. Uh, I, I absolutely want to enforce. Uh, the, stuff, the, the matters that we've talked about, particularly the importation, but, but all of it. I also want to be as, let's see, as nice as you can when you're telling people to do something they don't like because we don't want to mess up yeah. the gift either. Well, what you can, I mean, that's you could, yeah. again, you can send a letter requiring that they appear at, before you before the next commission and before the next meeting. Or at the next meeting, and then if, again, if they don't appear at the next meeting, then you have to take the next step, which might be the enforcement order. So if you want to play nice, then yes, you can ask them to appear. Well, but I mean, I can't tell you how to vote or how to even form. They I, haven't I, appeared before. They haven't appeared before. I, I, I want just I, I, want to. I want to send the enforcement order, but I want to. Send it as nicely as we can. Say. I I, oh, I agree with what the Reverend is saying. I think we should probably. I know it's been an, a long, ongoing thing here. But let's just do the right thing. If they yeah, think sure. that they're gonna, there's not much restoration I, they can do right this, now anyway. But, we just, but I mean, it'd be nice to get them in here and hear their side of the story and see if they're gonna go ahead and do a little something. And then, you know, let's if is, if that doesn't come to fruition, then we can take a little bit more action. But I think what the Reverend is saying kind of makes sense. You want to kind of play nice if they are gonna, you know. Donate the land or whatever it is they said they were going to do. Yeah, yeah but that's what, what they, they, they said they're going to donate it. But this has been yeah. since March, and well, let's take a how, how long do you let them just ignore us? When did they you know, at some point this? you have to. You know, What's that? When did they first file this? This goes back years. Yeah. It does. Um, so this hasn't been something we've been dealing with for like a year or two. It's been, I want to say, the five very years. first. Well, the the order of conditions was issued in 2011. Yeah, so this has been going back. The but uh, you know I, I don't think they did anything for a while, but yeah. the the um, the email chain of asking them, hey, what are you doing? Where are you at? Dates back to eighteen, two thousand eighteen, when they were when you were first starting to ask them to come in. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, it dates it dates back a few years. Yeah, so it's <laughs> been something we've been working hmm. and haven't got. No, I, I mean, I agree this is a mess, but if you send them a letter now, what are they going to restore going into the winter? What's going to get done? Well, well, we I mean, that's the thing. I mean, we have time here where we can bring them in here, let them say what they got to say, because it seems to me, going into the winter now, no matter what we tell them to do, they're not going to have a chance to do it anyway. But there so. are very important things that they can do before the restoration. Mm -hmm. yeah. They need to get erosion control updated. They need to remove whatever material you're not comfortable with. I, I, you know, I would say go out and take a look at it. Yeah. Um, and just let them, because if, if you don't address it, they, just three weeks from now, you could find 20 more piles yeah, of them. They're going to have six months of uh, doing whatever they want. So you, I think that, first of all, we need to be clear what they're bringing onto the site. Yeah. You know, because what, what, what happens with a lot of these sites is if they know they're going to they know they're going to put final grading and seeding, they don't care what they put underneath them. We don't know where they're getting this mm -hmm. stuff from. Um, right. It could come from anywhere. There could be hazmats involved with it. Yeah. It could be, you know, I don't think that they, that's the case, but we have to be... So I think we at least have to know exactly what materials they're bringing on site or stop mm -hmm. importing the materials to the site. Get sure. a plan in place. And, I, and yeah. I agree with Paula. They can't, there's not much restoration of seeding they can do, but, yeah. but we, don't, we don't want the damage to get any worse out there. Yeah. And what could it, I mean, so they're going to, we don't know what they're putting there, so they could turn over toxic land to us. Yeah. I mean, in the sure, end, right. unless possible. we start yeah. clamping down on them. I mean, like, you know, and you hurt their feelings, so be it. May, you may want, you know, as Chris stated, he thought that there was a, a gate, a chained gate. Well, it's not. So that's what I'm saying. Anybody could have gone in there yeah. and got rid of these X number of loads yeah. of dirt. Well, and again, I'm not saying that it is contaminated, but to me, it is not suitable material to, to use as fill mm -hmm. directly adjacent to exposed groundwater. Well, I mean, it should be clean, clean fill yeah. that they're bringing in. So, so maybe a, uh, a motion for a, uh, a nicely written letter. Uh, let's see if we can. Enforcement, enforcement order and uh, 30 day notice of a uh, wetland mm -hmm. uh, restoration plan. We also need to understand what they bring in onto the site. Right. Yeah. Um, Emphasizing that's the key point and ask, yeah. also asking them to get there uh, to come in and, and meet with us. Yeah. Um, as far as what you want in that restoration, the meeting will be the time for you to condition whatever you yeah, want to do. Like that's it. We'd like to discuss uh, it with you. NOI. But in the meantime, exactly. don't bring any new stuff in. I think they should, well, they yeah. can, they can submit a new response. NOI or they can do it in response to an enforcement order. E e either way. All right. So but I also think if they don't appear at the next meeting, then it needs to be. Then you know, we can give them an opportunity to appear, but yes. they've not appeared to, in front of this commission. Well, we before. should tell them that. Uh, we should tell them that. Well, I will I let them know that in a letter. I know what I, I, I can send the draft letter out to you all before we send it, so that way. <laughs> Thank you. You can determine. So Are you doing a letter or the enforcement order? Isn't I don't know. We'll, we'll see how. We'll see what they vote. I move. I move for the letter. Out? I move for the letter. So. Well, you can make a motion. Well, may I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Is there a motion on the? There's a motion. Yeah. We make a motion for a uh, uh, enforcement order with a new NOI uh, within 30 days, and uh, 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 request uh, wetlands replication and what is being dumped on the site. I make that motion. And to appear okay. before us next Just meeting. Here in front of us. Second. Jim. Yep. Second. I. All right. Right. Yes. Okay. So to be clear, formal enforcement order, asking them to appear before the next meeting, file a new NOI within 30 days. Yes. Right. Nicely done. And and with the dumping. And we need to know what. Well, that's when we ask them when well, they hear. I'll, I'll, I'll let them know that the commission has questions with regards to the imported fill material. Make yeah. sure that you've addressed that in your notice of intent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think that's okay. Alrighty. Okay. So that includes. We do have next, uh, we don't have to get into this too long tonight, uh, but we have two examples. Uh, MACC uh, has a wetland protections bylaw, and then uh, we took one, Jim gave us one from uh, Water, Watertown. Watertown. Yep. Watertown. Uh, what I would say is we should take these home, check them over, uh, see what we want to put together. Uh, I didn't get a chance to look through. I know one thing I think we should have tree protection 
in there. Um, that's something that uh, some communities have gone with. And um, I think with uh, all the forestry we have, it should be included in there. Gives us a little more, you know, hands on. Uh, do we have any questions, discussion on what we want to see or? Looking at what you handed out here that we got today, and I was reading bylaws for maybe five yes. or six other communities, yeah. and they're basically all the same. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're looking at regulations and definitions yeah. and everything, you know, I get, de depending on the community, they may have something a little different. Mm -hmm. Like I saw Fairhaven, they were contacted by the EPA about, you yeah. know, wanting them to put something in. Yeah. You know, be maybe because they have more of a active waterfront than we do. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not like we're reinventing the wheel. We can copy from towns around us. Uh, I know uh, we got a big riverfront, so we want to make sure yeah. that's protected. Uh, so uh, it's just copy, pasting, and uh, putting it together. I mean, like some things that we don't have, uh, uh, if they come back before us, there's not another charge. Uh, you know, uh, fees and stuff, you know. Yeah, that's the that. other thing that we, we uh, have to add some muscle to some of we the. We lose uh, a lot of money. Not that everything is money, but when somebody comes before us, Four or five times, and we only collect one fee. You know, it's yeah. You know, so uh, those things to look at. You know, what I would suggest is now that everybody has something to start looking at, stop putting together, you know, the, the the items that you think you would want to include. And again, we talked about starting small. So once everybody throws all of their eggs in a basket, you can then look at all the eggs and say, okay, when we start this off, let's let's do these three eggs first. Um, because you understand that this this has to go to the law department, this has to go to the city council. I mean, th this isn't just you coming up with a set of rules, mm -hmm. and so you don't want to make something where the city council said, "No, we can't take this jump." You know, it's yeah. just it's too much, um, or whoever needs to look at this, whether it's the law department or anybody else. So um, it's good to know and have in your mind, you know, the things that you do want to add in. But I think what's important is, like we said, the general framework. So see a framework that you think is similar, mm -hmm. and then we can have, you know, a, a bylaw drafted, yeah. an ordinance drafted, and send that through the law department to have it, have them look at it. Um, there, there are people in the law department that have crafted many of, of these and different ordinances and bylaws specific to land use. Uh, so I think if we can lean on them yeah. uh, to help us through this process. I know when I was taking my course, <clears throat> the, the reason behind local bylaws is to have tempered growth. We have a little more control of how yeah. things are developed. So yeah. we don't want to make it hard for somebody to come in, but we want to make it where it's at our pace and we're just not gobbling up open space and, yeah. you know, so. Right, it also, I think, will warn people ahead of, will tell people ahead of time, it also, now, I've looked at this partially. I looked at the one from Watertown. On, uh, actually, there was a hunt for it because I started thinking of places that have rivers. That was the first requirement. So I guess Fairhaven was, I <laughs> ruled Fairhaven out. But, yeah. and, um, but they have I the waterfront. In, so. I grew up in Cambridge, at least until, until I, <clears throat> that was my sort of, and I didn't like theirs. Mm. Um, you know, then I thought, and I talked to a friend who's actually on the commission and what was on the commission in Watertown, and he sent me these. This is all fairly recent because I, and it seems to me, after looking at several of them like you did, that one of the issues is how far is the uh, uh, buffer zone and how far do we, do we have a no build zone? Yeah. Those are two. For example, Cambridge has 25 feet, as we do. Um, Watertown is 50 for a no build. Uh, these are, I think, and these are the these are two of the important areas. Not not for the whole thing, but in terms of where people should build and what should we protect. Um, and uh, so you can look at them. I have not really looked at this particular draft here. Uh, 
That's what I'm yeah. saying. It'll give us time to... And this comes from where? That comes from Mass Association of Conservation Commissions. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I it's thought. It's a format. That's and what I what thought. you see on the right are Caitlin's comments to me. Uh, ah, that's what I couldn't comments understand. To me, um, with respect to what may need to be changed or changing. Yeah, Caitlin. Yeah. Right. Okay. Fine. Thank you, Chris. And I did not, I had not seen this when I got this and sent it out. So we have two. I'm not necessarily advocating for every, I do not suggest that everything we did, they do in Watertown or. Well, I just thought it was a good example. We do here. I just say. Well, the Watertown includes fee structures based, yeah. on, mm -hmm. based on project size and things like that, which are all something that we need, you know, yeah. something we need to look at. I don't at, know so. about that. That. Yeah. The one you did with Caitlin, some of the things in here are word for word what Seekonk has. Yeah. So they must have been yeah. using right. this exact that, that, same they, thing. They, when Mac did those, they were promulgated to all municipalities. Yeah, and, and I, they might have just went with that rather than working on their own. Yeah. I haven't read through them yet. I just got them today, so. Yeah. Alrighty. So any other more discussion on that, or? We'll, we'll, we'll keep it on the agenda. We'll put it on the agenda. So we'll keep it on the agenda for next month, and we'll just go <coughs> over it again and mm -hmm. until we come up with something, you know, we'll keep right. narrowing it down yeah. and uh, go from there. Good. Uh, okay, last thing is uh, approval of minutes for September 26th, 22nd, oh, and oh. October 3rd, if I can take those. Oh, one? Yeah. What was that? I'm good. I'm impressed. Okay. <laughs> 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 take a motion, Nick. Okay. 26, September 26 minutes. <clears throat> All right. Second on that? Second. Roll go vote. Aye. 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 Yes, you, you can all vote on it even though all members were not at that oh. meeting. Oh, I was not, yeah. For the third, right? Yeah. Lewis was 26, the special the meeting. I was here for the 26th. Yeah. I was. <laughs> but not the you third. Were, it was, I, I think, was here. Paul, Lewis, and you. Yeah. The 26th was the special meeting? Yes. Does it okay. say it on the minutes? I was not there. I cannot vote. <clears throat> okay. No, was I? You were here. <laughs> was I there? Was there for the special meeting? Yeah. Uh, I don't remember. Wait a minute. You can table it and we can check. Well, we can. Okay. Ask. Was oh, no, that, but was that so, the no, special but, meeting? Yeah. So when we come two, back with the next minute, two weeks. Yeah. No, I didn't. Come, yeah, I just forgot it. it. Okay. I think it was so how about we uh, have a motion to table? I think, I think it was Louise. Yes, yeah, so us three. Yes. Yeah. So uh, I'll, I'll just you know what? I'll go ahead and approve the minutes if somebody wants to. Well, well, I mean, did we already make that? I would wait. Let Patty check and then put they on the minutes themselves. They have to be done within three meetings, so we're running out of time. So the how many meetings have been? Three meetings or three months. Whichever comes first. Yeah, you should. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, we're going to look at that tomorrow. That's how it is worded. All right, cool. so, that, so then the first one that you want to deal with, do you know who was here? It was, yeah, it was the three of us. Yeah. Okay, that's fine, then you guys can vote. <clears throat> so, uh, approval of the minutes for September 26th. Make that motion. I'll second it, and then. Um, roll call vote? Yes. Roll call. Aye. Yes. Oh, aye. So that so takes care of that. That one's done. Next right. one, do you know yeah. who was here? Abstain. Abstain. Yeah. Abstain. All right, now the October 3rd meeting, which was last month's meeting, which I was here. Yeah, I wasn't. I think everybody but Lewis was. All right. Yeah. So can I have approval for the minutes for October 3rd meeting? Motion, motion to approve minutes for October 3rd. Second. Roll call vote. Aye. 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 Yes. Okay. We're all set. Motion to adjourn. There you go. Oh, wait. One. There's still number oh. 12. Oh. Oh. No, one more. Yet, gentlemen. Review and discuss 2023 meeting schedule. Everyone's I'm okay with it. <laughs> uh, factory with that? They're all still oh, the same first Mondays, right? Yep. Okay. Yes. All righty. The only one that sometimes <laughs> becomes debatable is July because it's July 3rd. Is Any citizen so input? <laughs> you can give us a good Yelp review if you want. <laughs> that was an answer. You still get Monday Night Football. It's very considerate. <laughs> <laughs> So can I have a motion to adjourn? Uh, motion to adjourn. We, are we approving well, did the we meeting approve schedule? Uh, I need a motion. Uh, okay, a motion to approve the meeting schedule. So moved. Second. Aye. No. You don't like the meeting? I don't like the July 3rd date. Okay. Can we right. give it at the end of June? You don't have to come. 
Yeah, you're going to be Well, but I, if I, you can you know, make it I don't the want next to week. schedule so. See, I normally go away. Patty, I'm bringing this stuff upstairs. Okay. Well, Thank you, I'll just miss the meeting. Okay, but I'll oh, still yeah. vote no. Okay. <laughs> All righty. Yes? Thank Aye. you. Yeah. Aye. Yes. Thanks, guys. Okay. All right, so five. We can always change it. Yeah, you can't make it. You can't make it. I mean, it's just a taxi. Yeah, if we all. Yeah, yeah. 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 If it's on first Monday of every month. You have the motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Roll call vote to adjourn. Aye. Jim. Aye. 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 All righty. Meeting adjourned.